I want to show you how easy it is to draw a Dungeons & Dragons city map. Yeah! Alright, I've been running a D&D campaign set in a homebrewed city and for four sessions now my players have been running around the city with no map. We're done with that. You guys need some sort of reference of what I'm talking about. It's time to draw Port Bella, my city. So I got to planning and thinking about how I wanted this to look and I realized drawing a, a, like an overhead city map is really not that hard. You're only using lines and basic shapes and really just drawing little symbols over and over again and you're gonna end up with this super cool looking map. An amazing visual to give to your players and it's really, really easy to do. It just takes a little bit of planning and a little bit of time. So with that, let's jump in and I'll show you how to plan everything out. All right, so I'm over here at my drawing desk, but before we get into the actual drawing, you gotta make a list of all the major landmarks in your town. So I know my city is built around this harbor, so there's docks, there's a market, there's guild headquarters, there's a temple, there's a magic school, all these different places that I know I want the players to visit. Make a list of all of them so you know ahead of time what you absolutely must draw on the map. Okay. All right, the first actual drawing step and why this whole process is going to be so very easy is to plan out the, we'll call them icons, the simple shapes that are going to indicate the more complex ideas of a map. So on a map you have buildings, you have trees, walls, all of the elements that make up a city. You're going to figure it out how you want to draw it now. So I'm taking this sort of overhead kind of symbol heavy map idea. So it's, it's not a realistic map. We're not drawing actual buildings in perspective. We're just indicating them with these simple rectangular shapes. And then trees, I'm not drawing tree trunks and branches and leaves. I'm just doing these little squiggles with dots and that is going to indicate the trees that are spread out through the city. You know, so I'm making this list, this key that explains what each element of the map is. So once I do start drawing on the map, it's going to be very easy to just knock everything out because I already know how to draw everything. There's not going to be any figuring out how roofs are supposed to look or how to render grass and water. It's all up front here. And by having this separate sheet of paper with my list of key locations and my key on how to draw each individual element, I'm gonna be able to knock this out way faster than if I was to be planning it while I was drawing. All right, we have our list of locations, we have our key, now it is time to actually start drawing. For this map, I'm not using anything fancy, I have just a regular sheet of paper, pencil, and just a standard ink pen, not one of those kind of crappy ballpoint pens that, I mean, I guess technically this is a ballpoint pen. You know, the, the ones that you draw a line and it already looks kind of faded. You need a pen that has solid black ink. So I'm just using this Uniball, nothing fancy, no crazy art supplies needed for this. All right, we're gonna start planning with just pencil and paper here. For this first real drawing step, we're just, we're keeping it real loose. Feel free to erase and change and do whatever you need to do to make the map feel right for you, but also kind of realistic too. So we're gonna start with the actual terrain. Before the city is even built, what does the landscape look like? So my city, Port Vela, obviously it's a port city. It's built around this harbor that was created by a meteorite strike. So that's why I'm starting with this giant circle and that's going to be a big body of water. The coastline kind of runs off the left side of the map. I have two forests that are going to run off the top right and bottom right of the map. But other than that, the geography of this place is really flat. So there's not much actual terrain to do besides the harbor and the little islands and stuff. So once you have the terrain figured out, then you can jump in and start adding some of your key locations and think about what a city is built around. So I'm starting with the docks and the harbor and right off the docks is this big kind of like open air market. So that's what this circle in the middle of the map is. And then the main roads are leading out from that market. My city has walls, but it is also outgrown outside of the walls. So 
I'm, I have kind of like an inner city and an outer city. And then just blocking in some of the bigger locations that you wrote down at the beginning. So as you can see, this is super rough. Everything is gonna get erased. So it's not a big deal to be messy with it. The important thing is to get your geography laid out and some of your bigger main locations. All right, so the next step in this process is to start drawing roads. So if you look at any map, roads are what's labeled, is how people travel around cities, and it's what all buildings are built off of. So these roads are gonna be our guide to laying out all of the many buildings in the city. So you might have noticed that on the key, I didn't make a, an icon for roads, and that's because technically, once we get into this, we aren't going to be drawing any roads. We're gonna be filling in all of the spaces in between the roads, and then the negative space will create the roads moving throughout the city. So you can see because we've laid out the topography of this area and some of the main features of the city. So for me, the docks, the walls, and the central like marketplace are kind of the main landmarks. So most of the main roads are going to lead to those places or follow along the walls around the city, stuff like that. Now because Port Vela is this kind of unplanned city. You know, there's no monarch, there's no real like ruling government. I want it to feel like it's sort of built up and just kind of built on top of each other. There's no grid. I wanna put a lot of like diagonal roads that just kind of lead to nowhere. They were built that way because they had to go around something maybe. And you know, hopefully, even though it's chaotic and busy, it still makes a little bit of logical sense. You can also see that I'm erasing, you know, if stuff doesn't look right, just erase it, try it again. And really now that we have all of our roads planned out, we have all of our major locations figured out where they're gonna go, it's time to start inking. It's time to start finishing this drawing. And now, and this is when it all starts to come together, time to start drawing a bunch of buildings. Now we're inking. Take your pen, start drawing rectangles all over the place. It's time to just draw a bunch of buildings. Make them go up against the lines you've made for the roads and you know just start filling them in. Go crazy. Make little alleyways and side streets and have gaps every once in a while. And the further out from the city we go I like to spread the houses out a little more. The roads start to feel less worn. If there's a particular place of interest, maybe give it a little bit more attention and build it up a little bit. This part is gonna take a long time and it's best if you just go Zen mode, just start cranking rectangles. Don't get impatient with it and just remember that this part is really fun because you get to see your map kind of come alive. All right, I'm gonna keep cranking out these buildings and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so we made it past the sort of mind-numbing building stage of the city map. The only thing left to do is to fill in all the extra little details. I'm gonna share with you a little artistic secret. So you can fill up a sheet of paper or whatever you're drawing on with really simple drawings. Just by filling it up, you make it complex and interesting and fun to look at. So on this map, I think the most complicated thing I'm drawing is probably the, the little ships and anybody could draw those. Nothing I'm drawing here is complicated, but this map looks complicated and hard to make 
because I've filled it up with so much stuff. But it's really not, you've seen the process. It just takes a little bit of planning, a little bit of time to fill everything in, and by the end of it, you're gonna have an awesome, complex, super fun to look at, practical to use city map. Yes! I finally have a map of Port Vela to share with my players as they're running around the streets, getting into trouble, doing cool stuff. This is going to be a great resource for them to use in the game, and I hope that this video has showed how easy it is to make something like this for your players. All it takes is spending a little bit of time on it. I promise your players will go nuts about having a map that they can hold and that's super rewarding. Or, you know, maybe it's not your players. Maybe you make it for your DM or the rest of your group or whatever. I just love making stuff for my D&D games. It's so rewarding and fun, and I hope you do it as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about the process, leave them in the comments below. Let me know if there's any other creating for D&D videos you would like to see. We've done the dungeon map, we've done the city map, maybe next is a world map, or probably like a region map, and then do a world map. I don't know, we'll see. So let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.